I keep thinking about safe place. I reflected this in my last work valley. It was idyllic point about place where there are no fears and place that gave birth to me. But what if this place is not kind or understandable? This work about motherhood in a broad sense and belonging to a place. My native forests uh, so close, familiar, but so frightening, scary. Something that give birth to me may be hostile towards me. I lit up the frightening depth from where fireflies flew out. All my works um, about hope. Can I tell you how I, like, interpret your work? Yes, it's very interesting. I mean, knowing you and talking to you over the last nine months, the, the forest has become your playground. Uh, the forest is, is an ever-present in your work. It's, it's almost like you are the forest. The forest is you. And now you are starting to bring other things into the forest. Your vocabulary is broadening. As an artist, you're creating your own vocabulary, your own visual vocabulary. And in recent paintings, you have started to bring other things into your vocabulary. It's not just the forest. There are other things appearing in the forest, which I think is really good because your vocabulary is getting bigger. There's loads of ways I can interpret your work. I think the bleeding tree, the bleeding trees, are really interesting, is fireflies are instantaneous. They sort of appear, then disappear. They don't exist for a long time. So it's a, it's a, it's a moment of, a brief moment. And I think that's, you've sort of captured that moment that there are lots of sort of bad things going on outside your world, outside your immediate world that you have no control over. And that's how I read your painting. I see magic in the phenomenon of nature, such as sunlight, stars, fireflies. This is a constant in my works. These are symbols of hope and salvation. It gives me the faith I am part of something huge, beautiful and eternal. <laughs>